Hey everyone, welcome back to 25 Sweet Peas. Today I am doing a bit of a mini swap over on Instagram with Nails Context. And I have chosen to do her living coral nail art. I absolutely loved it when she posted it and I knew that at some point this year I needed to do it. So I thought now would be the perfect time. So I'm gonna start with a white base. I have already applied that off camera and let that dry. Now it's time to go in and actually put in the coral. So for the coral, I'm actually using a polish. I know I don't often use like actual polish for the detailed nail art, but today I am. And I am using the Glisten and Glow. It's gonna be Legend wait for it, Dairy. It is a really pretty like corally shimmery polish that is definitely going to be one of my go-to shades for a living coral shade for this year considering it's the color of the year and everything. So I've started basically with two branches of coral and then I'm kind of just putting off shoots off of that. There is no precise right or wrong way to do it. You really just want to make very kind of fluid like lines. You don't want anything too sharp. You want everything to be kind of curved because when you look at real pictures of coral, you don't really have a lot of sharp lines. They're very kind of, I want to kind of say spongy, but that might not be the right term to use exactly because there are all sorts of types of coral. But the one we are going for today is kind of more spongy textured. So you're not going to have really defined fine edges or sharp edges. It's going to be very fluid and smooth. So that is what we're going to do on the two middle nails and the other nails I have already put on the corally shade as just, you know, the overall look for the nail. After that is all done and while it is drying, I've decided to go in with some gold and I'm going to just add some gold here and there to kind of give the overall design a little added depth like she did for hers because I thought that was really cute and I love the combination of coral and gold. For this, I am actually using a gold acrylic paint because that is my preferred method whenever I'm doing nail art, but that is what I'm using. I believe this one is an acrylic paint from Michaels. I'm not really sure I've seen any other brands have a gold acrylic paint, but I'm sure other brands do. But this is the Craft Smart if you were wondering. After that is all done and it has dried, you can apply your favorite top coat. Lately, I've been absolutely loving the Moonshine Manny top coats. They're scented and I'm a little bit obsessed. So there is that. That is your final look at this design. I absolutely love how this came out. I actually wore it for quite a few days. I want to say two to three days, which is longer than usual for me. But it was just so fun and it's perfect for the color of year color of the year. I can't even speak. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Also, thank you to Nails Context for doing this little fun mani swap with me. I really enjoyed it and I want to recreate so many of her different manicures because she has so many cute nails. So I will link her down below if you guys want to go check her out on Instagram. Again, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys back here with another new video very soon. Bye!